Loot galore, man. 20. I'll give that to Angela since she's been spending a lot of her rounds. And energy cells for Robert. Alright, so that's I think that's the luckiest I've been on this playthrough so far. That is pretty insane. Alright, well, time to actually upgrade these weapons. Alright. Um, I still got that nudie magazine. Alright, so I'm gonna give this sniper to Angelo so she can unmod it, but there's a good there's a chance that she won't be able to <coughs> excuse me, to unmod it safely. Alright, why don't you just strip this for parts? The folding stock is rusted shut, so now it's just a claw on the front that keeps getting caught in the brush. Well, that sucks. So it's only worth forty five scrap, so yeah, I'll strip it for parts. Alright, I got six broken weapon parts, and since it, was, it said it was worth forty five. Actually, that was a bad, that was a bad deal. It's only worth 24. It's not worth it. I should've just kept the weapon. <sighs> whatever. So, what am I looking for again? Oh yeah, I'm gonna unmod this real quick. Wait, whoops. There's a 100% chance. Alright, nice. Yeah, definitely take advantage of that. And this sniper, 48. Yeah, I don't think there's a point. Wait. If I strip this for parts, I can get sturdy mag, or yeah, it's not worth it. I don't know why I did that. So I can give this. Oh wait, I need that sniper rifle from Nick, so she can mod it. Let me just read. Uh, light and accurate, great for big game hunting, even the most dangerous game. Okay, Russian army long rifle. All right, we'll just check out the stats real quick. Wait, to do it uh, a little more uh, quickly, I can just compare here. So 20 to 30 damage, 77% chance to hit. Okay, well, I'm not going to read that. It does has a better chance of critical, uh, better critical chance and more critical damage. Less chance to jam, which is good. Slightly less range, uh, more round capacity, and better armor penetration. And less AP, which is really important, actually, for Nick. So yeah, this is an all-around better sniper rifle. It's a good upgrade. I'm going to attach this mod to this one. To the carabiner. Alright, well, I think I deserve a party for getting that safe. So he has 23 rounds. Oh, excuse me. Um, yeah, I guess I'll keep that there. Did I get anything else I should distribute? Nope. Alright, I got three grenades though. That's really, uh, that's very really good. I think we're set. So now we gotta find that well and form that serum. I'm actually kinda glad I went over here. Oh, I gotta make sure there's nobody else. An old HUD intact water system. Operating it looks simple enough. Fill the tank, hit the switch, and the serum should spread through the pipes and kill the plants. Alright, well there's a box here, but first I'll, I'll do the serum. And Brawley has the serum. Alright. Alright, logbook update. You pour the serum into the reservoir and hear the pumps start to flush through the system. Okay. We added a dose of Dr. Lawson's, Lawson's serum to the water reservoir of the infected town and stopped the crazed growth. The survivors were grateful. Alright. Check out this box and make sure there's no one else. So I think, yeah, I think that's it though. It's pretty easy actually. All right, no bombs on that thing. And all right, free box. More sniper rounds for Nick. And more energy cells for Robert. Nice, nine of them too. And I see a hole up ahead. Dig that up. I think that's it. Scrap and a necklace. I'll take that. Hey, at least Aberforth didn't die, right? That's a plus. And I'm gonna save real quick because of that awesome stash. So yeah, I'll get that pretty quick. Right, let's talk to these guys. See if they have anything to give me. Cause I'm greedy. Sheriff. Oh, that I guess not. I guess they got nothing to really uh, say about that. They're grateful, I guess. Mm. 
Okay. Computer science and ammo whisperer can be used in combat to convert enemies to your side or scare them away so they won't bother you. Wait, I wonder if I could use animal whisper on those flies. Could I have done that? I don't think so because they're insects. Okay, so we did that. Charlie One calling Citadel Base. What's happening? Go ahead, Charlie One. Got some meth dealers doing business out at Red Leg. Should we take them? Hang back, Charlie One. See if you can follow them to the source and call me before you make a move. Copy, Citadel Base. Hang him back. Charlie One out. Okay, well, she sounded black, not trying to be racist. So, I guess we'll head to the prison now. I think I have enough space to deal with whatever I have to deal with, so... And I have enough water to get to the prison. So yeah, we'll head to the prison. The problem is the radiation, but it's only one, so I think we're okay. It's only, like, at a level of one, so I don't think I should be worried. Raiders are... Dangerous Raiders are approaching a position. Now nah, we don't need to deal with them. Mal uh, laughing at the piss from down your leg. Sure. Okay, so I lost some constitution. Oh crap. Okay, that's fine. Alright, the prison. Yep. Bum rushing the enemy isn't always the smartest choice. You can always toggle group movement mode to split the position of your party before a fight. Bum rushing the enemy, eh? <laughs> I think that's a funny term. I don't know, this prison though. The red scorpions. I think, uh. Yeah, I don't think they're nice people, so I might have some trouble with these people. Alright, so here we are. It looks pretty deserted right now. Charlie One to Citadel Base. Go ahead, Charlie One. Still on those dealers? 10 4, Citadel Base. Fold them to a trailer park in the middle of nowhere. Looks like a lab. Copy, Charlie One. Let me know if you need backup. Negative. Only a few people. Get to the airport! Back to the wall! Back to the... Charlie One, come in. Charlie One! Damn it. Citadel Base calling all teams. Anyone in the vicinity of Red Lake Sands. Rangers need assistance ASAP. Charlie One, this is Citadel Base. If you can hear me, I'm calling for assistance and will send help to you if I find it. Call in when it's safe to do so and advise on your situation. Citadel base out. Well, that's not good. It sucks to hear about a you know fellow Ranger team just getting shot at like that. Hope they're okay. All right. A lone road stretches on. A dry wind whips your back with the sh uh, with the sh sandy shards from decades of lost hopes and dreams. Wow, very depressing. Okay. This pre-recorded message is brought to you by. RSM Enterprises Inc. Red Scorpion and White. is a harsh and unforgiving place. With Desert Ranger patrols few and far between these days, it's no surprise these families are wondering where they can find safety and security. Well, look no further. Happy Valley is the answer to your prayers. Formerly the Arizona State Maximum Security Prison, but now in a content community managed by the folks at RSM Enterprises, you won't believe how safe Nestled within the sheltering borders of Happy Valley, with 24 hours, 39 security patrols, and our circle of wagons, you'll never need to worry about being alone or unprotected again. Now, here's our Commander Danforth, founder of our FN Enterprise, with a personal welcome to all potential Happy Valley homesteads. Hey, hey, folks, don't let those damn Rangers tell you otherwise. Happy Valley is the safest place in the waste. So get your lock quick before they're gone. You, you shouldn't say damn. It's a field pitch. Aw, oh, hell. Sorry. It's fine. It's fine. Next time. Yeah, safer than uh, the Rangers to uh, Citadel? I don't think so. Yeah, these Red Scorpions militia, they're not good people. I don't, by the sounds of it, by, you know, the rumors about them, they don't, they're not good people. And I'm sure we're gonna find a little town, you know, of people, and they're gonna say otherwise. I mean, they're, they're gonna say that the Red Scorpions are not, not very fond people. So. Alright, well, I guess we should look around. I'm gonna start with the edge, because, the, you know, the edge is kinda, that's where the, uh, 
you know, loot is sometimes, so. Oh, there's a there's a dead guy here. Oh, he's not, yeah, he's dead. Looks like this guy pissed off the wrong person, or people. I think that might be Red Scorpion Militia Graffiti. Alright, well, I hope this isn't booby trap, so I'm gonna send me in. Because the leader has to take losses for the group sometimes. You hear mumbled voices coming from beyond the rock face. The scent of lightly salted bile fills your nostrils. Oh. Happy Valley brochure. I'll take that. Farmer's Diary Part 1 and 23 Scrap. Okay, that's actually kind of a lot. Let me just read this real fast. Happy Valley brochure. This crumpled flyer features a drawing of smiling, happy people standing outside a cottage with a white picket fence. It reads, When you're ready to stop wandering, come to Happy Valley. You'll never leave. Yeah, maybe back then. Alright, Farmer's Diary Part 1. Oh, wow. Okay, that's actually quite a bit to read, so... Alright. You can pause here. And then you... And then you can pause here. I would read it, but, you know, sometimes, like, it takes a little while to read. And I don't know. I think it's kind of... Well, I'm not saying it's boring, because I go back and I read it, you know, my videos, because, uh... I don't know if that's weird or not. I don't think it's weird. But yeah, I do that, so, like, I don't have to read it now. Holy crap, man. Freaking goat. I'm gonna animal whisper that goat, and I'm gonna have two goats in my party. This truck has a bumper sticker on the back bumper that says, Don't blame me, I voted for Musky. Alright, there's a... Oh, yeah, I saw... I didn't even see that. Wait, I mean... Yeah, that's pretty invisible. That goat has the portrait of a sheep, it looks like. Alright, let me uh, dig up this hole real fast. Take that goat. There's a guy up there. Fred Davis? Darvis? 38 ammo and a test ball. I'll take the test ball. Alright, I'm gonna head back this way and take the... Take a more open route towards that guy. Evidently, really crappy drivers used to uh, used to be found in these parts. So basically, what this thing is referencing to are, is that Arizona people who drive in Arizona are crazy, and I would agree with that. Like a lot of drivers in Arizona aren't very good drivers; they're very reckless. Except for me. This guy needs a hand. We'll help him out. What does that guy say? Well, now that's a sight. All right, this guy might be friendly. Hopefully, it's not an ambush. Because if it is, then I might might be screwed. This old man has a face like the back end of a porcupine, and only three teeth in his mouth, all the color of snot. Ew, <laughs> that's nasty. Alright, Rangers returning to the prison, must be the end of the world. Alright, that goes to shut up, like seriously. Must be the end of the world again, why are you here? You finally came around to help, or are you just looking to trade? How can we help? You must travel all around a lot. Uh, De Monta. what can you tell us about the prison? Alright, before I ask for help, I want to, like, get the dialogue out of here first, because if I press help, uh, he might just, I might just lose his dialogue, so I'm going to ask him questions first. You must travel around a lot, see anything trouble, notable in the wastes? Well, I've watched this place go to crap since you rangers left, that's worth mentioning. What else? I once got chased by this huge red warming, oh, red worm looking thing, acid dripping from its mouth. I had the ribs to, I had the ribs to my back, so I had nowhere to run. It, it got one of my goats, swallowed it in two bites, but kept coming. Thought I was, I thought I was royal, royally fudged. Gonna end up as a worm food twice over. Then this blue woman, yeah, glowing blue, comes screaming out of the red clouds and starts wailing on the worm. I ran like hell and didn't look back. Hope that angel of a woman survived. That I don't know. This guy's probably that guy was probably high when that happened. You've heard of Demonta? You want to ask Red about that? He's forever going on about Demonta, about this and Demonta that, especially when he's been drunk, huh? My head out there myself, if I can find rad suits to fit this here goat. Oh, wow. Do you have any rad suits for sale? What can you tell us about the prison? Why don't you just, uh, try, try, um, uh, trapes on over there and see for yourself? I'm sure the Red Scorpions boys will give you a big, a warm welcome. Hey, you better not be tricking me here, bud. Where can we find red? His junk shop's at the top of the goat hill, just listen for the screams. Watch out for his turrets, though. If you don't have a password, they'll chew you up. He calls it his preferred customer code. If you don't have a password, they'll chew you up. He calls it his preferred customer code. Do you know what the password is? Hmm, last time I went up there, I think it was preferred, but he changes it up a lot. Wow, that sucks. What can you tell us about the Red Scorpions? Calling them that is an insult to scorpions. They keep saying they're the law around here, but telling people what to do and killing them if they don't do it ain't the same as law. At least not how I remember it. 
Do you have any rust suits for sale? Can't say I have as I can't say wait, can't say as I have such specialty items. If anyone around here had something like that, it'd be red. But watch out, he's a sharp trader. Not a kind of sort like me. <coughs> How can we help? Help for me or the town. If you want to help the town, you're too late. Since the Red Scorpion Moshe moved into your old prison HQ, they stolen, burned, and raped everything in this valley. Oh, wow. So they burnt and raped. All right. Yeah, these people are bad. In this valley, I mean everything. My poor goat didn't walk right for a week. What? Oh, my word. I can't believe I just read that. It'd be out of, it'd be out of this hole, but my wagon is stuck in this ditch. Ain't, ain't that just how life is? 